What is Planet City? Who am I? And does Hannibal Lecter ever say, Hello Clarice, in Silence of the Lambs? Gosh, so many questions all at once, and not all entirely relevant. Well, I am Moomin Little Socks. No, Hannibal Lecter never says hello Clarice. And what is Planet City? Well, that's why we're here today, you silly bean. Good evening, Clarice. Good evening indeed, and welcome to another speculation video where we discuss the possibility of an addition to the Planet franchise. That's right, I'm back again to build hype for something that may never be. Let me start this video with a clear disclaimer. I am in no way affiliated with Frontier Developments or have any inside knowledge on upcoming releases. I'm merely collating nuggets of information from across the World Wide Web and presenting them to you in a tiny little audiovisual package. So, what do we know? Well, we know at the very least Frontier owns the rights to the name Planet City. That's fair enough, Moomin, but they also own the rights to names like Planet Golf, Planet Hospital, and Planet Prison. Why are you just talking about Planet City? Well, because it seems the most likely. Something that game developers do is test new game features in their existing titles, and Frontier have done this quite a bit like the weather system in Jurassic World Evolution and restaurants and hotels in Planet Coaster before their implementation into Planet Zoo. Late last year, Frontier introduced the height mapping tool into Planet Zoo. One of its uses is to import the terrain information from real-world locations into the game. A very cool feature, but not one that seems entirely necessary for a zoo management game. I believe this is a test run of the feature for Planet City, but don't take my word for it. I take my tea black with no sugar, so I clearly can't be trusted. It's worth noting that importing height map information is a current feature of what would be Planet City's main competitor, City Skylines. Cities is a powerhouse in the city building genre, and despite being released seven years ago, is still receiving new DLCs. But my question is, would it still stand up next to a brand new, fully optimized release from, I don't know, Frontier Developments? I spoke to City Skylines streamer Toadie YPQ, and she had this to say. I would say no. I don't think I could say that it's optimised. Even without modding the game, it eats up a lot of CPU processing power and a lot of RAM. Especially once you start taking on DLC after DLC, the general feel seems to be that the number one thing players hope for in a City Skylines 2 is optimization for current slash future PC builds. Some have gone so far to say that they would repurchase pretty much the exact same game if it was updated for today's technology, and honestly, I probably would too. So it's clear, much like Planet Coaster, Cities needs a bit of TLC. So, does that mean there's a gap in the market? I asked Toadie whether she thinks the game could stand up against the potential of a new release. I have played a few of these new CS-like games myself, and watched quite a few be played by friends, and none have come even close to grabbing my attention. For me personally, if I want to play a city builder, I'm going to play City Skylines. I already own it, love it, I'm familiar with the game and what's possible in it. Why would I play anything else? Unless they give me this exact same game fully optimised with the same level of community, I have no reason to make a switch anytime soon. It's clear the City's community are happy with their game, and I imagine if presented with a choice, would choose City Skylines 2 over Planet City. You'll find links to Toadie's YouTube and Twitch in the description. So whether there's a gap in the market is definitely up for debate. I imagine gamers new to the genre and the Planet Coaster and Zoo community would absolutely give Planet City a try, whilst the hardcore Cities gang would probably stick with what they know, unless a competitor brings something new to the table. As always, it's hard for me not to be guided by my own optimism. It would be foolish of me to ignore the fact I would simply love Planet City to come to fruition. Out of all the trademarks Frontier have claimed, City would be the one I'd love to see next. Just imagine the complexity of City Skylines with the detail of the planet build tools. You don't just plop down a pre-made apartment, you have the ability to design it piece by piece. There's no denying creating a fully optimised game of that level is no easy feat, and it's safe to say I'm not holding my breath. But there's certainly no harm in hoping. Frontier have smashed it out of the park with Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo, I have no doubt they can do it again with the next part of the franchise. Their 2021 annual report shows at least two new games coming over the next couple of years, so whatever happens we have some great new content on the horizon. I'd like to thank ToadyYPQ and Nerd Chacho for assisting me in my research, and you for watching this video. I won't ask you to subscribe because, well, you have full agency and are intelligent enough to make your own decisions. What do you think will be the next new Planet title? Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you next time.